Hey guys, Future Funk here doing some editing. Unfortunately, for the first six minutes of this video, the audio is a little weird, different than usual. Um, I hate the white static noise, probably more than anybody watching this. So I was working on trying to remove that effect, and by doing so, I put on a bunch of weird effects with like Windows microphones or whatever, and I think it sounds terrible. So. After about six minutes, we go back to, unfortunately, the static, but I feel like my voice is more authentic and less tinny, so, you know, it is what it is, but obviously, based on my voice now, you know in the future I do have a better microphone, so it will get better, so just bear with me for now, and enjoy. What is up, guys? So, today was actually a pretty big day for me. Um, it was the first day anything I've ever recorded has been uploaded to YouTube, which is really cool. Um, episode one is now up. Um, look, it's not doing like, I didn't expect it to do like crazy numbers or anything. Obviously I'm a zero subscriber channel with no posts ever, but it's pretty cool. We're up to about, I think at the time of recording, we're up to about like 16. And I think like about five of those were me <laughs> checking on it when it was unlisted, but it's so cool. I'm so happy that people have watched this. Even if it's, uh, one of those views I know is my girlfriend. One of those views I know was me when it was live just to see what my videos look like on a big television and everything like that. And um, I didn't hate it. I mean, I know episode one was definitely my lowest quality uh, video that I made, primarily because I didn't have everything buttoned down with OBS yet. So that was a little iffy, but everything hopefully coming from me after that will be cool. And I think as a recorder or whatever like a streamer no i guess it's not a streamer but whatever as a let's player um i think my ability is slowly getting better and um i know my editing is also getting better so yeah here we are so let's see where we picked up or let's see where we left off so we have deltoid here he is wanted in the uh doesn't say it but he's wanted for like five thousand or something in uh the united city so that is where we are going Right now, we also have Sind from the Red, Red Sabres, who is also wanted in the United Cities. And Gendergast? Gendergast? <laughs> Whatever. He's also wanted. Oh, he's wanted in the Holy Nation and the Shek Kingdom. Hmm. So this guy, unfortunately, his bounty is not worth anything. But he's actually worth more being sold into slavery. So I think we're going to try that. Let's get everybody together here. I think everybody's good damage-wise. I healed everybody up at the end of the last episode. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that was actually recorded or not. Like if I if I showed that on recording, but yeah, I did that. Oh, okay. Do we want now? Nah. Let's actually wait a minute. Let's wait for this uh beak thing to pass us. Yeah, actually, we're going about the same direction. Oh no, we're not. Okay, cool. Let's get moving then. Okay. Let's just make a straight shot to hang, and hopefully nothing happens. Okay, so we actually just found a group of uh, Band of Bones over here, as they're healing up their people. I think we can fight this one. I'm going to take Delta over here and make sure that this beak thing... Oh. Make sure that this beak thing doesn't wake up. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, let's fight. A little, uh, cool, very easy fight for us. Gerg, fix yourself, Art, fix yourself, Delta, ooh, fix yourself. Okay, so now Gerg, let's get you over here, take this, take this, take this. Um, not really worth, this is worth a little bit, not worth, okay. Oh, hold on, this is Maul? Did Maul heal himself? No, he didn't. Come on, buddy. Heal yourself up. Cool. You are unconscious. So let's pick you up. Let's come over here. Ooh, very cool. Frame axe. Oh, wow. Ninja pants or uh, samurai light plates? Oh, those are worth. It's a snag. We will... Uh, leave them with a little bit of stuff. I don't really care about helping them, per se. Nice autosave. 
Okay. Now you're going to move over here. Gerg. Gerg already has a ton of stuff on him, which is so, so nice for us. We can sell it for a pretty penny when we eventually make our way over. And uh, let's get this guy too. Just like that. Hmm. Put this down here. Put this down here. I don't think I can put a backpack. Oh, I can. Okay, I guess it's empty. Cool. Whatever. Oh, wait a minute. We don't want that. We want this. Okay. Uh, Gerg. Salute this guy. Wow. Hmm. I think we can fit that, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like that. Mall is full. Brock is full. You are full. You are full. You are not full, Delta. Get over here. Get some of these pants, buddy. Get this uh, armored rags. Awesome. Delta. Who does not have a guy? Don. Don doesn't have anybody. Don, you pick up knife. Okay. This is good. Uh, bad decision, buddy. Okay. So let's get out of here. Nobody's injured, right? All healed up. We are. Cool. And now we cut again as we make our long run to hang. Discovered Smuggler's Bar. can't remember if that's something good that we would maybe want to look into or if it's something very bad that we don't want to go to. So let's, let's actually get everybody to like chill for a sec and let's have Gerg go in alone. Because he is the fastest. I think even with a bunch of people, yeah, he's still running like 17 miles an hour, so. Pretty good. Gray flares. These guys all cool? I think they're actually all cool. Okay, yeah, sweet. So they're cool. So let's sell off all of our excess gear here. Yeah, let's get the rest of the boys in here. Ha! <laughs> they're making up for some shortcoming in the sack. Maybe. Boom. Roasted. I don't... I haven't really thought too much about that aspect of uh, Gerg's character, i got to be honest with you. Cool. Rogue trader, drifter. Maybe talk to the rogue trader. That's a that's a drifter that was making fun of a uh, <laughs> that was making fun of Gerg for his big old sword, for his inadequacies. Hey man, whatever you say. That's very cool. Awesome. Okay. Let's trade. Sorry for the audio quality a little bit earlier. Uh, I was trying some stuff out. I don't think it went exactly how I wanted it to. But now we should be back to normal. I don't think there is anything else of worth here. No, everything else is just kind of shoddy grade, so... Okay, cool. So we're still leaving here in net positive. Make sure there is nobody of no upstairs. No, does not look like it. Okay. Somewhat profitable stop. I wonder... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I feel like while we're here... We should try to go to Flats Lagoon, which I believe is in the um, in the swamp. Okay, so obviously Flats Lagoon is down here in the area that clearly says 
Flats Lagoon. So instead of running us all the way up just to run all the way back down to sell that hashish, let's actually just go to Flats Lagoon right now, sell off the hashish, and um, then we make our way, way back up to hang. Make a little bit of money, a lot of bit of money actually, because we have a ton of hashish on us, and uh, then make our way back. We're still probably going to have all these bounties on us, so that's something. So are they like starving to death? Let's make sure that they don't starve to death per se. I don't necessarily want that. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. Why does that always happen to us, man? Do we have anything cheaper? No, it's just that. So we'll just give him a food cube. And uh, I believe the other one was pretty low, too. Cool. We'll just give them both food cubes. Why not? Oh. Group back up, boys. Okay. It looks like... Um, yeah, it looks like we're now coming up on Flats Lagoon. Just here referred to as Strange Town. Uh, so unfortunately, we have to do the thing where we all swim, and Delta just walks on the uh, the water's floor here. But yeah, we're making our way to Flats Lagoon, which is great for us. We're gonna sell off all of that hashish that we brought. Whoa, what is going on there? Oh, that looks like a much bigger group of people. What was that? No mats, okay, whatever. But that is a pretty big group. Her bone dogs, I mean, I think in the base game, bone dogs are pretty OP as far as like <laughs> how strong they are in fighting and everything. So I don't know if I really want to grab one. I do want to eventually get animals, right? Like, I definitely, definitely want to get animals. I just think they're a very cool part of Kenshi. But I'm not sure if bone dogs are the way right now. They might be though, because they are very cool. We right now have the ability to, to like you know, protect one. So, let's see, who are these guys? These are nomads, right? Who are they following? Oh, they're patrolling town. Okay, that guy's a head nomad. Let's go talk to him with Gerd. Way quicker. Pack beasts, bone dogs. They're all pups, though. Yeah, bone dog pup right now is pretty young. Goats are also pretty cool. Pack bulls are pack bulls are like dumb slow. So oh, oh, they only have a single bone dog to sell. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Not interested for now. Alright, we have discovered Flats Lagoon. Okay, so let's sign a little. So that's the bar over there. That is the bar with the word bar on it. So I'm going to go there. Because it seems more like a shadier place. Okay. Come in, have a browse. Yeah, we'll do, man. Show me your goods. Yeah. I'm gonna be selling you all this hashish. Whoa, look at these long swords. Okay, so this is cool. So they're hackers too. Mmm. Okay, armor pen. Minus two, minus four. Okay. Armor pen is is a little bit less. We don't have an indoor penalty from this. So 0.93. I mean, it's way cooler. Is it way heavier? No, it's the exact same weight. Ooh, I like these a lot, actually. Hmm. That's very cool. We might have to get that one. Let's get a map of the swamps while we're here. That's going to be something of worth to us. Hmm. Oof. 
move. <laughs> Once again, we are purchasing weaponry for uh for Don here. But you know what? I would say Don's earned it. He's the one that carried this stuff the whole way. Very much, I guess, taking the risk here. Okay. Awesome. Art, let's go in here, Art. See if we can get you a leg of some sort. Hello. The leg guy. Show me what you got. Okay, all stealth legs. Hmm, that sucks. I don't really want stealth legs. Ooh, cool mask though. Yeah, those are those masks that cost like a bazillion dollars to uh buy the research for, but World's End. United Cities extended territories. Border zone. Holy map. Cool. Okay. I think that's that's kind of worth it. Oh, no man's cape belt slot. Okay, belt slot. Check him out. Hey. <laughs> okay. I like that a little bit. But does it have any uh benefits fighting wise? No. Not really. Just looks fucking. Just looks sweet. Okay. Or right, let's meet back up with the boys over here. Gerg, let's bring you in here. Let's look if we have any anything to buy, armor wise. Show me your goods. The Raider helmet is here. Wow. Okay. Now that's pretty cool. I think we buy the Raider helm for him. Let's get the full look going. How's he look with this on? Oh, yeah. I mean, he looks... Yeah, he looks just like... I mean, loosely just like uh, Guts right now, which is cool. Um, so we do need something for Maul. Like, Maul has been... Maul is probably our best fighter, and that's insane, since he, I think, probably has, like, the worst weapon of all of our people. But that's just kind of how it goes, you know? We just haven't been able to find anything good for him. He says, and then he finds the topper. He might wield the topper. Whoa, wolf headgear? That's cool. Haku mask? Oh, that's from, um... Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Armor dust coat? That's pretty cool. Wow, this is going to be a lot of, a. Uh... A lot of buying it looks like. <laughs> a lot of shopping this episode, but I think it's going to be worth. Okay, so we just got done talking about how Maul doesn't have anything, so let's get him this. So I believe the topper is like the best weapon for them. Uh, katana users. Oh, also he has an indoor penalty now, so I wonder if we keep that katana as a secondary weapon for indoors. Yeah. <gasps> Masterwork Assassin Rags. Hmm. I think we get him this. Yeah, I think we have to. Yikes. That... <laughs> that sort of bankrupted us there. But that's something like... That's potentially like endgame stuff that we just purchased there. Like, we may not have to get stuff for him for a very long time. If not, like, ever. Well, why not? Is that better? Yep. Level up, buddy. Ooh, Okay. Okay, level you up. Very cool. Art. I think Art is still just wearing absolute garbage. Yeah, Art's not wearing great stuff, which is not good for us because he's one of our squishiest guys. Um, what is the negative of... Putting art in this piece. Well, 
the negative would be that it would essentially bankrupt us. So let's not do that. Yeah, let's get Art into this. Bulk him up a little bit. Let's just get him pants that make sense as well. Do we just give him Drifter's leather pants? For now, at least, yeah. Okay. But the wolf headgear, though. The wolf headgear is kind of cool. I can just barely afford it. Oh, all of those is Tonfa. Yeah, let's get him a better Tonfa, too. Right? Slightly more, 1% more resistance for... That's a negligible difference. Whatever. Do we buy him wolf headgear? Maybe Brock we give we give a cool mask to. Okay, Brock. Let's have you run into uh it was this guy, right? Yeah, he sold he sold all those masks. I think. So I believe Yeah, okay, so they were giving us benefits to melee attack. Hmm. Oh, that goes in your belt slot? Hmm. Okay, never mind. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. I mean, I guess it's probably cool, because uh, you can wear, like... Maul could actually wear... No, Maul's actually... Maul's wearing a belt, but we can easily replace that one for Maul, because I don't think it does much for us. I mean, it does help us with resistances, but... um, Yeah, I don't think that that's too 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 important for us. Yeah, the Haku mask is just kind of cool, but doesn't really help us. The dragon mask. I don't want him to wear a dragon mask. Do I want him to wear the wolf headgear? What is the negative of a wolf headgear? Just crossbow. Okay, yeah, screw it. Basically anything to bump up that martial arts is what we're trying to do. Yeah, and that pretty much taps us out here. Ah, oh, right before we got to the crossbow store. Damn. Oh, you know what? Do we cheese? Mm, we don't have that much in there, but okay, let's do it. Send you down here. And a quick little sale. Anything for sale, so you, 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 and you. Get them some money. Anything? No, okay. Back to work, buddy. Delta. Let's get Delta some more gear. Or let's get Delta. Let's let's check what this crossbow guy has for Delta. Let's see. Gotta do better by our boy here. I mean, this is like a marginal increase. This is like, yeah, let's let's just do it, you know. <laughs> let's let's just try it. Who cares? Do we have enough even? Okay, we just have enough. Cool. Let's get a. I don't need like all of these skeleton repair kits, truthfully. And we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. Delta has a way, way higher caliber, higher caliber uh, rifle or crossbow or whatever to use. That's super cool. Uh, let's get the whole squad over here. There's something powerful in the Ashlands. Probably. Joseph P. Not a skeleton. He's an outlaw. That's wanted by the holy nation. Hey yo, what the fuck? Jeez, man. That is a freaky looking guy. I know he's a skin bandit, I think is what they're called. But boy oh boy, do they just skeeve me out. Oh, Chad. That's a that's a custom or that's a unique NPC. He's like a really good martial artist, I believe. But we already have a martial artist, and I think he's very good. There's the guy that sells bone dogs. Do we do we just bite the bullet and get a bone dog? 
He does have a bone dog backpack. Okay, so let's do it. Let's show what you have. Let's get ourselves a bone dog, a pup. It's gonna be one thousand. Khan is going to be his name. Awesome. Why are you all the way out there, man? Okay, now Gerg. Let's not steal. Oh. Let's do business. Bone dog backpack. Awesome. Okay, now you are going to trade with Khan. Let's just wait here until he gets up here. Come on, buddy. Are you slow? Oh, you're so slow, huh? You're just a baby. This little guy. Awesome. Okay. Bone dog backpack. Awesome. Art. You are also going to trade with him. Give him a stack of meat in there. Two stacks of meat. Why not? Okay. Also, Art. Oh. Cool. Ton of locations added, and we are going to pick him up for now. Cool. That's an awesome, awesome bit of, uh, you know, the looking around we've done now. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video, and if you did enjoy it, feel free to like and comment because that will help me with my channel growth, and if you're interested to see where this channel goes in the future, make sure you subscribe. Later.